what is the area that you would most like a shift in your life and how might your own emotions and your own passions actually be holding you back? This is part of the process of Chuvan and Elul and here I am with my dear teacher Nechama Sarah, um, author of the 12 Dimensions of Israel and um, Kabbalist um, and a student of the Arizal. And tell us, Nechama Sarah, what, do, what can we do in Elul in order to harness the power of our raw emotions um, and instead of letting them get us off track and create situations that we're unhappy with, how can we um, bring it back to a place of um, building and a constructive place? Okay, so the, each um, month we have a special hashpa'a from Shemayim, and this is really a special month of tshuva, and it's connected to, with the left arm, which is um, connected to the sphere of Gavora, and we are, are able to really reclaim our boundaries from all the different messy situations and relationships that we um, had really clear observation of during the month of Av, when we saw more of the passionate, raw places in ourselves. And now we have a chance to reclaim those parts of ourselves that we lost in a, a less rectified uh, situation. And, and our midot are the most important things that we are here to improve. So in this uh, month with the, with the um, the 12 tribe uh, dimension therapy, we are able to activate the cohort inside of us and be able to reclaim and bring back to ourselves those parts of ourselves that we actually lost when we, we fell into passion and anger. And um, now we have a chance to really shift and have a, a clearer perspective of our past and our, our relationships and start living on the level of dignity and maturity that we we have the potential to uh, manifest in our spiritual paths. So can you give me an example? What is the um, koach that we have in Elo? What is the opportunity? What are the, what are the actual tools that we can use to do that process to reclaim ourselves from being lost in anger or hurt or jealousy or whatever it might be? Well, the meditation of this month is really about being in the present. We have this like Betula that is the mazel. We have this virgin relationship with Hashem, and the letter is Yud, and we're going back into our primordial self. And going back to our primordial self, we really live in the present. And we can just, um, as we're in the present, observe what thoughts and memories are taking us out of the present. And then we know we have something to fix. We have to do tshuva. We have to reclaim ourselves from those places where our thoughts are pointing to. So it's really an amazing avoda to be able to be present and then like kind of just reach out and take back and reclaim the sparks of our soul. We have movements to do this. Our, um, Hashem is uh, showing us through our, our body, especially through the left arm, how we can reclaim ourselves and, and come to another level and a shift of understanding and uh, being in relationship um, and relationship with ourselves and each other and um, so becoming conscious and becoming being in the present and being coming conscious of what's triggering me, making me um, angry or upset. Can you and and being able to be conscious of it? That's really the chuva of reclaiming the lost sparks of this, right. We of have this self. extra edge of being conscious of like you know what really is the unconscious levels in my soul that have caused me to be messy, to have triggers, to react in a way that um, was not as uh, desirable in order for, to have peace and harmony in our lives. And that's the most important thing for our health and our well-being is to establish that and, and have a flow between myself and everyone around me. So when we, ha we have to reclaim those parts of ourselves that, that just don't, didn't fit into that uh, ideal picture that, of, of our own personal ga'ula that we're trying to achieve in our lives. And as we are present, and we do the movement therapy, we can really... What is that movement therapy? Would you give a, tell about for it? For an example, um, it's, it's like, again, there's a lot of teaching behind the movement, but the movement is really about physically claiming the sparks of ourself. As we do it, the memories come up. Where am I caught? What, what, what did I do that wasn't, you know, that needs improvement? And where do I need to ask forgiveness, which is a really important part of reclaiming yourself. 
So all of this is um, a process that is activated through the movement, and then we can get real clarity of where what we need to fix. Because when we say, you know, LL is the month of chuva, and Ila Dodi Dodi Li, we have to know what we need really need to do chuva, and our body is w waiting to show us what and tell us what we need to do chuva. I'm pointing up, uh, to details of what needs to be fixed in our life. So would you say that if I find myself getting upset, then I know that that is actually um, an indicator that I'm getting lost in this raw passion and actually the avoda, actually the opportunity in L is like you said, to even use specific emotions or listen to specific m music meditations that you have that we can talk about in order to come back into myself. Like knowing that I'm upset is meaning, is sending me a certain sign that I can do chuva into myself. Would you say that? It's definitely a signal to see what you need to look at more deeply. Because we, you know, the virgin, uh, the Batula, like the uh, mazel of the month again, Virgo, is that clear, clean connection with Hashem, that place of tapping inside of us that was never touched by anything, uh, you know, of our stories, our, our drama in our life. And we want to get back to that primordial essence of our being that's chuva and in order to do so we have to make amends and reclaim those parts that we we like lost in the the journey through life and now's the time to come back in a whole way to regain close to the yud it's the primordial letter uh it's in it, part of the movement is going into the fetal position and and tapping into that primordial place in our soul and and so all of these um ideas come together when you actually go through a whole you know, session of meditation and movement and limud to really bring this all together and have your tshuva be a real authentic shift in your life. And you'll see results, and our students have seen results of, of real important shifts in, in, in their perspective and freeing themselves to go on to other levels and, and to, to let go of the places they were trapped in. With, with, you know. Can you give me an example of even just when, before you were getting ready to do the video, how your friend called and you started to feel yourself? What was actually that little process that you did to stop yourself from getting um, out of yourself and to do that chuva coming back into yourself and really being centered? Well, it just like the ability to just become more aware of that I'm getting off centered. Uh, just you know for no really valid reason there was a lack of communication the phone wasn't working there was no klita in in the room and it, just realizing i just let it go i can take care of it uh, let's just be in the present what's important is to get the video going and and to know that i can you know rectify things and talk about what happened with my friend and i'm sure everything's fine just instead of getting into this like emotional panic so like it's just like come on go back into what's happening now, go back into the present and, and, and connect, just connect. And um, you, then that way you're able to see transparently through all of these, these triggers and these control panels inside of yourself that want to change the situation. Because everything's from Shemaim, there's a reason she called. Obviously we're talking about it. So uh, there's, the, but these are all t techniques and tools that we develop with the 12 uh, dimensional therapy, which is, is emphasized through the 12 Averim. Each month is connected to a part of the body and, and a different hush. This, this is all explained in, in the book, The 12 Dimensions of Israel. And um, the more we go deeply into finding and cultivating those dimensions in ourself, the more we see amazing shifts. People have seen, have been able to really get out of like patterns of, of destructive relationships or relationship behaviors. patterns and, or yeah, right. even yeah. even um even you know like um mental you know different illnesses and things right there's i mean there's i've taught many therapists who've used my who use my techniques um it's it's a therapy first for yourself and then if you if if you learn more and more then you can apply it to other people and it's it's uh, it's a valuable tool that I, I was blessed to uh, receive in my lifetime that I want to give to you. So if you would like to learn more, um, you can sign up below, and you will get access to our free course on creating a soulmate connection using this feminine Torah, using these twelve dimensions of Israel. Um, I think Nehemiah Sarah. Um, let's just maybe summarize again. So you're saying that. 
Elul, it, we're, we're doing tshuva and we're reclaiming ourselves. It, it has to do with our left arm reaching out and sort of bringing back to ourselves the parts that have been lost in this sort of raw, undefined passion. And knowing that, being aware of that is actually the main avoda of Elul, just being in the present and noticing when am I getting like off kilter, upset, angry, or it could be even sad or depressed. Or, could or, be or what thoughts are bringing me out of the present. So there are things I have to make amends about. With, and this is the month to have get up the courage and the and the humility to to ask for forgiveness, and to forgive even if you're not even asked to, uh, by the other person to to forgive. It's a very humble and self confronting. Um, I have a lot process. to say about forgiveness because you know um, forgiving someone does that mean condoning what they've done? No, no. It's it's but it's not. Because why should I forgive someone who hurt me? I think that's a question that comes up a lot. And for me, I think it really connects with what you're saying because in order, I, like I've noticed with myself and with the people that I've you know worked with that once I have um, actually been able to process all those raw emotions then the forgiveness can happen naturally and until I've been able to do that so the forgiveness can happen naturally I think that w that's where what you said the therapy really comes into place right. the 12 dimensions healing with the Hebrew calendar right doing especially in last month of, each uh, limb the, the using, month, yeah. especially the month of Av we were given the opportunity to really see like ourselves on the table, like really where we're holding with certain emotions. And it was humbling. It's embarrassing sometimes to see really where you need to be fixed. But that, that's, that's really a gift because until you, not until you confront those places and deal with them can you get to this higher level of tshuva. And, and, and um, the forgiveness is not about like... Uh, it's okay what you you know like keep, keep abusing we, me yeah no that's not okay. it's it's releasing yourself from being a victim of that because you are shifting and not inviting that anymore in your life and when you carry around anger resentment so you isn't there that idea that you tend to attract more situations right, like that right. these things it will keep coming up it, it, and so the idea is to really process it in the body through the 12 dimensions and the 12 different limbs of the body what you teach the kabbalah of the arizal mm -hmm. so again this is bringing it so, it, you know, it's not enough to know that well, the left arm is connected to Elul. We're actually activating the energy and listening to the messages of the body. That Hashem is sending certain wisdom messages, especially each month, uh, but you can access it all the time. And, and we can learn what we need to do to improve, to, to come closer, to do our tshuva, to, to be more connected, to be more whole, to go back into the yud and really feel present in, in our Dalit Amot, in where we stand in life. And this is really about reclaiming. This is the time Hashem is in this field. He's helping us. He's saying, look, look at that. Look at that. Look, you know, and he's giving us that thought. Wow, it's that thought's taking me out of the glorious moment of the present. And I want to deal with that and see what I need to do to reclaim myself from that. So it's, this is all part of um, the wonderful work. I see it also giving. as, yeah, what you're saying, Anila Dodi Vidodili, like you said, cultivating that relationship with the part of me that hasn't been ever traumatized or hurt or abused or isn't angry and is actually connected in the purest way. And doing that again, I think, in, in, with the idea of forgiveness, is being able to do it, um, process those emotions, listen to the messages in the body, the feminine Torah, everything that you teach. And again, I would love to invite you, if you are interested in healing with the Hebrew calendar and the months and the different body parts that are associated with each month, learning how to tap into that feminine wisdom, which is in your body and those messages that you are receiving, please sign up for our exclusive WhatsApp group, Just Women Only, where um, you can hear these teachings, you can be part of it, you can even gain access to um, classes with Nechama Sarah and on Zoom, and as well as music and meditations um, and things that she shares each month and all the time, be part of this process. So please sign up below and you will be added to our WhatsApp group, you'll receive a link by email, and you will also get our free Soulmate Connection um, class where you will learn more about um, how you can take um, the Torah of the Arizal, the Kabbalah, and listen, you know, tune into your own feminine Torah and hear these different messages and actually be able to affect um, and enhance change and a shift in your relationships, whether it's with a friend on a simple level, like kind of you had now being able to recenter yourself in the present and not get overly upset about something, or in a major relationship in your life, in creating your a soulmate connection. Or, yeah. yeah. So Which these, is the archetype 
relationship of all relationships. And like when you rectify that male female relationship, that core relationship, and and understand and and stop uh, the triggering and the reactions that cause disharmony, and because you're so aware of your deepest subconscious and unconscious self because you've confronted these places then you, you can you can live a conscious life which is you know the das is what we need for gaula this consciousness of like being aware every moment who we are and what's really going on and we're not carrying along this this baggage uh that is this weighing us down so i invite you to really try to come to a different level of of being of of um, of loving, of truly loving, like, um, and, and I would say noticing, like you said, when you've been taken out of track and you're being overtaken by emotion and being able to kind of recenter yourself, find the way to process those unhealthy emotions that are taking you off track and do the chuva coming back to yourself. And again, you will find resources in our WhatsApp group and our private WhatsApp group, as well as on our mailing list. You will receive a free um, course explaining how you can activate more of these tools and enhance you know your life and your relationships so please sign up below and um you know let's get started in really enhancing creating the shift that you want doing that chuva coming back to your own self and that pure connection and as women you know i just you know the thought that was coming up was we have that extra measure of bina and yet when we're so stuck in our these emotional places it's really difficult to access that and i think that coming back to that is also part of doing chuva as a woman you know like being able to access the deeper parts of knowing of knowledge you know you're talking about das you know mm -hmm. like knowing knowing god so um and especially as we group together as women we support each other because it's not an easy process to really confront ourselves and 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 make shifts it's like we need we need support so it's really nice to be part of a, a supportive women's group and and work on who's who have a common goal to work on themselves in this way i can say that it's been amazing for me to be part of the group and to really be part of the shifts that are happening and looking at my own things coming up and being able to really do that process of chuva being aware and and letting go of the past and being able to process the emotions and being able to activate the deeper levels of das of being of, of these things thanks to nechama so thank you so much for this um shir on chuva in, in elo and being present and um knowing how to process the things and tuning into the messages of the body you know and um please sign up for more uh tools and support and resources okay. we'll see you in the group bye 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 everybody